booktube. I'm here today to talk about my perspective on Christianity. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, misconceptions both on the sides of believers and non-believers of uh, what is and is not said in the Bible. Uh, so this is just my perspective on my faith um, and I'm going to begin just by telling you about how I see Jesus. Um, now, I did a lot of soul searching. Uh, I was agnostic for a long time, um, borderline atheist, and then I started exploring religion a lot more. And the reason I became Christian was not because um, what people always say Jesus and God can do for you. That's, I think that's a lot of, of, of approach that people take in evangelism, um, which is a whole other topic that we'll, we won't get into. <laughs> it's just like, God will save you, God will do this, God will do that for you. Um, and that's not what attracted me to uh, Christianity. What attracted me was the fact that Jesus was set up as an example of what we should be as humans. Um, so it's really upsetting to me to see, you know, so many churches and people ignoring uh, a lot of what Jesus said in favor of their own greed and selfishness. Um, and, you know, um, a lot of uh, Christians who don't understand how the Bible was put together, um, but I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole other rant. I'm just going to tell you uh, why I think Jesus is an awesome person. Um, so, first of all, Jesus was a human being. Uh, I think that's the core belief that a lot of people forget, is that Jesus had a lot of flaws and faults in, in and of himself. Um, you know, the key part of Christianity is that God came down and became human. And while he was here, he kind of went, wow, this is kind of hard, <laughs> being a human. This is crazy. There's a lot of messed up things. People have taken what I said in the Old Testament wrong. I need to set them straight. Um, yeah, and, and then he... One of the examples of, of Jesus being flawed is one of my favorite stories, and it's the Canaanite, the faith of the Canaanite woman. Um, this is Matthew 15, 21 to 28. So Jesus is basically there saying, yeah, I think only I'm going to save the Israelites. That's, you know, that's it. You know, everyone else can just go to hell. <laughs> Uh, and uh, a woman says, but, you know, what about me, Jesus? And uh, he looks at her and is like, well, no, only the Israelites can be saved. And she says, but even dogs can get the scraps off their master's table. And Jesus looked at her and just kind of went, Poof, like, his mind went, Poof, and he's just like, you know what? Everybody. Everybody is welcome now. Um, like, I, I think that's interesting to see, you know, he realized he made a mistake and changed it. Um, and then you know, the temple, Jesus in the temple, literally flipping over tables, uh, so, you know, Jesus got angry. You know, he had these human traits that we forget to attribute to him. Uh, that's Matthew 12, 12, the uh, flipping of the tables. <laughs> Another part that really appealed to me is Jesus as a social justice advocate. Uh, Jesus says there's two things that you need to do to get into heaven. That's it. You need to love God with all your might, and you need to love your neighbors, neighbors as yourself. That's said in both Luke 10, 27 and Matthew 12, 31. Um, so, you know, all those rights that, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, right-wing people claim for themselves, they need to be spread about, because that's what Jesus said, is love your neighbor as yourself. If you think that you can get married, well, then your gay neighbor should be able to get married. You know, that's just the way <laughs> it should be. Um, you know, Jesus acknowledged and actively addressed what he saw in society as injustices, inequality, systemic injustice, apathy. Um, you know, he passionately involved himself with the exploited, the ignored, the maltreated, the, the enslaved, abused, objectified, despised, sick, etc, etc, etc. This is what Jesus did. Um, and it disturbs me that a lot of people don't see that in him. Um, next is Jesus as a rebel, and this is what really appealed to me. Every church that I tried to become a part of, or that I tried to research online, seemed to kind of ignore this aspect of Jesus. They wanted you to conform to a certain way, to conform to society, to conform to their beliefs. But Jesus was a rebel. He created conflict by disrupting social norms. He angered leaders. He criticized governments. This is why he was killed. He wasn't killed because he was the son of God. He was killed because he was making the people in power feel upset. They were like, this guy is stirring up some trouble. We got to get rid of him. Um, he constantly told the Pharisees, which were the religious leaders of the day, um, that they were misinterpreting the Bible <laughs> um, and doing everything wrong. He's, he even asked them, uh, Matthew 12, 3, um, whether he had 
um, whether they had even bothered to read the Bible at all. Um, and he's just like, you guys don't get it. Um, you're just taking passages here and there and that suit you. And it's amazing that Christians don't, don't understand this part. Um, yeah. Um, Jesus said, don't let your left hand see what your right hand is doing. He says, you're, you, if you're going to go out and you're going to brag about all these good deeds you're doing, that's your reward. You're not going to get it later on. Um, and that's, I, I try to, you know, try and live my life like that. If I do something good, I don't go, oh, look at me, I need someone to acknowledge that I've done something good. Um, it's another thing of being selfish and bragging and greedy. Um, and that's Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Um, he says, don't pray in public. Um, don't brag about your good deeds. Don't judge others. All these messages that I feel are the core of um, being a follower of Jesus that other people don't get really deserves me. And I just really want to put it out there that uh, I am a Christian and this is what I believe. Um, but please don't group me with, you know, hateful Christians because I'm not. Because Jesus is all about love and rebellion and being a flawed human and being a social justice advocate. Um, so that's it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Jesus um, and maybe we can talk about misconceptions of religion and such. And thank you for watching.